Hello everybody, thanks again so much for joining me here today. My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, in this week's episode, I am going to be diving into more X Particles work. Uh, I'm, I'm actually starting to work on some shots for a personal project I'm working on, and I'm excited because uh, I'll probably be using the drill to explore uh, the techniques that I have been and will be using for that project. So in this uh, shot, I'm actually looking to get uh, like a sandy, wispy kind of particle emission from X particles. Uh, I know it's a, it's a very popular look with X particles. Um, and that's actually one of the goals I have for this project is to figure out how to use these types of particle emissions and stuff like that. So I was actually using, um, I was following along with a Grayscale Gorilla tutorial, which I'll um, link in the notes, the show notes below. And in that uh, tutorial, they're using uh, an XP sound emitter or uh, XP sound modifier to drive the emission. Um, and I'm using that to drive the amount of particles as well as the color of the particles. So I would recommend following that tutorial if you want to learn exactly how uh, Nick shows you how to do it. Um, and it is still way above uh, my level of knowledge, so it, it's tough for me to explain how the process works. Despite that, what I am doing is using different modifiers to augment the emission. Um, I have a stack of them that I ultimately used in the final render. I used a gravity modifier to uh, kill the gravity in the scene, turn it down um, almost all the way so that the particles kind of just float away from the sphere in the middle. Um, I'm using a scale modifier for the first time and with that I am starting the particles um, larger and then as they get as they their life uh, goes on at, um, during the simulation they get smaller and smaller and fade out to nothing. Um, along with the gravity I'm using a drag um, modifier and that's slowing down the particle movement as it goes through the space because I don't want it to I don't want the velocity of the particles to just blast everything off in a whole bunch of different directions. And I'm obviously uh, using the turbulence modifier to get the wind kind of kicking up and kicking around. So my big, big revelation for this one that I was really excited about, in all my time playing with X particles so far, I've been using a generator to add geometry to the particles because I'm using this in Octane, obviously, and I just, I wasn't able to figure out how to use just like spheres and stuff, stuff like that. So I finally found a tutorial, uh, I forgot, I honestly forgot where it was. Um, I'm sure it's, uh, it, you could find it in a lot of places because it's really key essential in the um, X particles to Octane workflow. And that is using um, uh, an Octane tag, uh, an object tag and defining it as a particle. And then it just pulls, um, it, 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 as you drop in your geometry into that tag and then it starts to pull that right out of there. So you're not generating a whole bunch of uh, geometry uh, and polygons, at, at least as far as I can understand. It's basically like using an octane scatter material um, and it sped up the, uh, the render for this was like four hours. Um, and that was at like 4,000 particles per second or something like that. So it was, I was really, really impressed with how much that uh, allowed me to do. And now if I want to plan ahead for like a 24 hour render, I could really crank up the particles if need be. Um, before moving on to uh, obviously here I'm compositing, the composite was really simple. So I just want to explain this a little bit more because the other key is I wanted to pull the color out of the, the sound emitter. Um, and get that, that cool rainbow effect. And the way I did that was by using, uh, in the diffuse channel of uh, an octane material, I used uh, C4D octane uh, tag, or um, in the drop down there, C4D octane, and used an instance color. And in that, you could use the source, 
um, uh, you define that as the particle and then the color source as the emitter and that emitter is pulling that from the sound emitter and then you can see all those colors right there I'm really excited how this turned out this is a test shot for what will eventually go in the final short film that I'm working on and like I said at the beginning of the episode I'm really excited to show you guys um, more and more of that film as I'm working on it so if you have any questions please do not hesitate to comment or reach out uh, I love the engagement that I'm getting from everyone and if you enjoyed the episode if you made it this far please consider subscribing I really appreciate the support and I would love to climb up the YouTube rankings to start to monetize some of these so I could start exploring with more expensive models and stuff like that so if you have friends that might like this maybe share it with them and uh, you know suggest they subscribe that would be awesome but that's all for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in week in and week out. It really means a lot to me. This project was something that I started the year on not anticipating uh, much support at all. I thought maybe I would just get some you know, support of my coworkers and friends. And not only that, but I've been getting this you know, huge support from everyone out there in the community. I really, really appreciate it. Um, please, uh, uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe. Uh, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.